And the CDC says the number of children hospitalized in the ICU because of COVID is on the rise. David Gonzalez shows us why local doctors are hopeful things are turning around. More and more children are ending up in the hospital because of COVID-19. And in fact, the hospitalization rates are significantly greater than we've seen for seasonal influenza or the flu. Dr. Jim Versolovic with Texas Children's Hospital says about 10% of kids and teens diagnosed with COVID-19 need to be hospitalized. Uh, 35 to 40% of children and adolescents that we've uh, hospitalized have required critical care. Numbers from Texas Children's Hospital align with the latest CDC data that shows a third of kids 12 to 17 that required hospitalization end up in the ICU. Of those cases, 5% needed to be put on ventilators. We see no reason to roll the dice with the health of a child or an adolescent, uh, no reason to gamble. And the best way to just um, hold on to the dice and not gamble is to get the vaccine as soon as possible. Dr. Versolovic says last month, Texas Children's was able to turn a corner on increased hospitalizations because of their efforts to vaccinate eligible children. We have now uh, provided vaccines to more than 16,000 young adolescents. These are children 12 to 15 years of age just uh, since May the 12th. He says that number climbs when you include 16 and 17 year olds. Dr. Versolovic says it's important that anyone who's eligible to get the shot do so in order to stop the spread of the virus. In Houston, David Gonzalez, KHRU 11 News.